Hey guys, it's Allbirds from Muffin Group. In this tutorial, I would like to show you a feature that we've added in version 28 and which will definitely boost your Beebeerder workflow. Inheriting styles with magic placeholders is something many of you have been waiting for as it will definitely make working with responsive design much easier. Without further ado, let's move to my screen where I will explain this amazing feature in detail. I will explain this feature on section you actually see on the screen, where I have four icon boxes, but it works exactly the same for wraps or elements. Let's edit the section and navigate to Advanced Spacing tab. As you can see, for the desktop I set 64 pixels for top and bottom padding. And now, when I switch to the laptop version, you will see the values we set for the desktop but in green color. It means nothing but laptop version inherits these styles from desktop. These values are placeholders. Let's say you want to change this value for laptop because it doesn't fit your design well to let's say 30 pixels. As you see, these values are now default gray color as they are local values which is set for that specific screen size. Let's now switch to the tablet version. Here I set 48 pixels for top and bottom padding but let's remove these values. As you see, three placeholders display now 30 pixels value, which is inherited from the laptop version. But if you will remove top and bottom padding values for laptop and switch back to tablet, you will see that green placeholder is in 30 pixels any longer but 64. It's because we removed values set for the laptop and now tablet inherits values from desktop. It works exactly the same for the mobile. Let's set 15 pixels for top and bottom padding for tablet. And now if we switch to mobile and remove values set for these fields, you will see green color placeholders displays 15 pixels, which is inherited from the tablet version. Have you ever felt lost about where a certain value comes from? Never again, thanks to placeholders. With this feature, you will always know what value applies to a given field relative to the screen size. What's worth remembering is that devices with smaller screens always inherit field values set for the devices with larger screens. That's it for this tutorial. Hope you liked this video. And from now on, your workflow with Builder will be even more pleasant. If you like this video, I encourage you to watch another video where I explain one of the most powerful B-theme features, templates. And as always, thanks for watching and remember to like, subscribe and hit the bell icon to get notified every time you release a new video. And if you have more questions, please visit our support center at support.muffingroup.com.